Oh, you look like a shark. This is my pet monster, Ancho. He's a Colombian wolf fish. I'd say he's about 10 to 12 inches long. Um, he's about five months old or so. And he is hungry and check out those teeth, chompers. In today's episode, I'm gonna hike down to a stream to catch some fish, to feed my fish, because my fish is a predatory fish. He is a Colombian wolf fish. He used to eat shrimp, but ever since I started giving him live food, it's all he eats. And it's been costing me about $30 a week to buy comments from PetSmart, and that is not smart. So, let's go. down there that is where I'm gonna catch some crayfish and feeders that's where we come down All right, as you can see we got some sword tails mini crayfish um, I even caught a, a baby pleco in here Let's see if I can scoop it out. Alright, as you can see, there's a bunch of these Endler guppy looking things. And these sword tails. It's pretty cool. Sword tails. They look like mini ghetto endler guppies this here tadpole i don't want it i don't want it to hatch or metamorphosize into a frog or toad so i'm gonna feed that one to ancho well, one of the main things i wanted to catch was crayfish so here here's a crayfish i'm gonna feed that to ancho also got a bunch of those little glass shrimp or ghost shrimp how do you see them on the sides, those shrimps. Oh, there's a the pleco. After two hours of scooping crayfish and sword tails and a little glass shrimp, I got a good collection. I got it strapped to my backpack here because it's pretty heavy. I got a lot of water in there, but this stream is still alive and there's still wildlife. There's a lot of tadpoles and like the frogs, they go like this, and then it sounds like a little crying baby, and then they jump in the water. I was trying not to get any tadpoles. I might have scooped one or two, but I'm uh, pretty sure my fish will eat it, hopefully safely. Um, the hike coming down here took about 15 minutes, so going up probably take about maybe 20 because I'm going uphill, and um, the backpack's a little heavier. But um, when I get home, I'm gonna purge the fish, all the mud out of their gills and stuff. And um, probably, I think I'm gonna feed a couple of mini crayfish to Ancho when I get home. But as for the fish, they should um, be clean a little bit. I don't know, Wolffish is pretty sturdy, so I'm pretty sure he'll survive whatever. Um, it's just a good practice. I wanna breed them so I don't have to make this hike every week or two. And yep. Prior to this, I've been spending about $30 a week, maybe $20 to $30 a week on comets from PetSmart. So I've been trying to buy 100 or 150 at a time and then throw them in my pond so they can survive the whole week because I can't throw 100 feeders in the tank at once. But they, they like 50% of them die. I bought 150 last and by the second day, about 80 of them died. And besides wasting money, cause it's like 30 cents each or 24 cents each or something, they stink. So this is a much better option, but it is tiring. It's a nice hike, kind of creepy. I just hope I don't run into like a wild boar or something. 
because I just got a skinny little stick. And of course, I'm not gonna tell you where this little stream is because if it gets overfished or if a lot of people come and um, desecrate or just overfish my supply, shooting myself in the foot. So yeah, it's pretty close to home. All right, since my hands were always wet at the stream and I was standing in water, this is the trap I used. I didn't video anything over there, but this is the trap I used. Just go inside that funnel right there and they don't come out. And you just unzip it to take them out here. And a small little scoop net for the little shrimp. This is everything I caught. And the water is so dirty. There's so many dead fish already. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna get them in the clean water. You can see a lot of fish are already dying, so I'm gonna experiment and throw some of them in that pond where all the cichlids live. Probably gonna die. Some in that tank where that cichlid might eat them. Some in that pond, some in that pond. And I'm gonna feed some to Ancho right now. So that's the new home. crayfish in there, a couple small ones, and um, they're pretty sturdy. If I put them in the pond, I feel like they're just gonna eat all the fish, so they can just eat the dead fish that are in the bucket. And I'm gonna leave them in here, and little by little, day after day, they're gonna become food. And so, this is gonna be Ancho's lunch for today. We got the orange crayfish, a couple of regular crayfish, sortel, and the tadpole. It's not gonna last long in there. None of these are. Tank water is so dirty. This is gonna be your first taste of crayfish. all of this in and see what he goes for. As long as he eats that tadpole. The water is so dirty because the new plastic plants I have in there, I guess I didn't wash them good. Oh, that cichlid's in trouble. Oh, damn, check it out. Look, he caught the cichlid. There's a nice fish.
turn it around so it fits in your mouth, bro. Slowly slurping them up. Gone.